all right thank you welcome back my wonderful people it has been on this matter that p2b since he left from pdp to labor party p2b for the very first time has visited uh, pdp governor and he has revealed reasons for doing so p2b makes facts visit to pdp governor <laughs> p2b was on saturday october 2022 on the 22nd spoke on the extent of damages and the destruction done by the flood in Biasa state. The Labour Party's presidential candidate during his visit to the state on Saturday revealed that the level of displacement is worse than the 2012 disaster. The ongoing flood crisis has affected states like Benue Biasa rivers and that of Kogi with a huge lot of uh, residents displaced. Bayasa, to tell you, the presidential candidate of Labour Party, Peter Obi, was on Saturday, October 22nd, paid a humbly visit to Bayasa, one of the states affected by the ongoing flood crisis. Meanwhile, Obi, via his Facebook page, on Saturday announced his visit to the state and is a governor. Do ye dare? All right. As the former Anambra State puts it, the level of damages and the displacement he saw in the state and his environs of far extent that was recorded in 2012. In photos shared online by Obi, he could be seen with Governor Derry and the other victims of the natural disaster. All right, to be wrote based on his page earlier today, he says, I visited the flood affected area of Baeza. The level of damages and displacement far exceed that of 2012. All right, my wonderful people, flood Nigerian governor as a president became IDPs as water takes over their residents. And so photos surface online. My wonderful people, the governor of Bayasa Adiri has lamented the extent of damage done by the flood crisis in many parts of the state. Governor Adiri, who went on a tour around affected local government areas of the state on Friday, October being 21st, to see things for himself, noted that even the hometown and residents of former presidential candidate of course former president Gunnar Jonathan uh, Bele Jonathan we are totally affected all right Jonathan he said is now an IDP there is stated that uh, the entire Otoke community or we are local government area Jonathan's hometown has all been submerged in flood Meanwhile, the, nota, the governor noted that as a result of this natural disaster, the former Nigerian president, including himself, are now internally displaced persons. His word reading this. This is what I have been saying. Baza is under attack of natural disaster. The whole premises of, uh, of our former president and the community is under attack and this is where you also have the federal university this situation makes the former president an idp that has been a very tragic one my wonderful people writing by some states all right all right my people still on the matter where they talk so about flood pirate acts a buary to the please declare state of emergency on flood disaster the National Association of Sea Dogs Pirate Confraternity has called on the federal government to please kindly declare a state of emergency on the flood disaster ravaging many states in the country. About 600 people have uh, died and over a million people have been displaced across the 31 states in Nigeria that have uh, experienced flooding, including our former governor and former president, uh, Good Luck Jonathan. The NAS uh, Campson, Mr. Abiola Owoje, on a press statement titled Federal Government Must Mitigate Nigerians' uh, Personnel, sealed, issued via electronic mail. Why? 
condoling with uh, victims of the flood disaster across the country said it was extremely saddening that successive administrations have failed to take the right step to arise to to arrest these uh, predicament and this prediction and these predictable strategies Owoje asked the federal government to display the military paramilitary formations and relevant agencies to immediately avoid those still in flood prone areas in Baza and Ambra Delta across river and the river state against the backdrop of a warning that we are that these states are still at risk. According to him, news that over a million people have been displaced and living in harsh conditions in the various internally displaced persons. And such camps should attack the attention, should attract the attention of the federal government and the respective state by taking steps to monitorate their living conditions instead of abandoning them to their faith. OJ challenged the electorate in flood revenge areas to attract concrete assurance from politicians conversing for votes on the construction of the design house them to intimidate the effect of flooding. All right, my wonderful people, the news is on Nigeria to ensure whoever is seeking their vote for the highest office in the land must pledge this sincere commitment to complementing the project in the shortest possible time this is a uh, what we call the election section and voter especially in the flood uh, ravage zones have a golden opportunity and duty to attract these uh, communities from politicians as they converse for their vote which also added he had called for regular dreading of the river niger and Benue, as well as government taking issues of climate change very seriously and stepping and stopping building on flood plans okay that's been on this is matter the statement read in base it has also become imperative for the federal government to see to the regular dredging of a river niger and Benue using the same or the sand for hand and uh, sand blocks and beaches across the land to improve river flow in adding this is a need to initiate a boost retrigger river ban river ban management for effective flood risk reduction climate change is a reality and the government in nigeria must wake up to this reality the various state governments responsible for land allocation must henceforth disaster from the dangerous policy of allocating lands for building in floodplains and flood prone areas. Many of the states that uh, suffered flooding also have their their topography distorted from discriminating building on natural canals and unchecked dumping of refuse into water channel and drainage systems we therefore we encourage citizens to become more active and vocal in governance issues by demanding accountability from their various state government over the use of uh, ecological funds my wonderful people that have been the matter so where will they talk well let me have your check right in the comment section remember to be blessed and then do well to put in your notification button so we get more updates coming right from the channel thank you and god bless